Hey, what's up guys? Mashine here, come back with a brand new video for you guys. Today we are going to be talking about investments and more specifically the souvenir packages because souvenir packages at this point are potentially one of the best investments for Stockholm 2021 that you can make. It all relies on a few very small but very important details and we're going to get to that in just a minute but before you guys hop on into this one if you're looking to pick up any CSGO skins I've got a couple links in the description and let's hop on into it. Let's first talk about this brand new souvenir system where you can pay for souvenirs. The common problem I'm seeing is people are comparing the old souvenir way which was drops to the prices that they have to the new souvenir system and seeing that the prices we could potentially have and see them going much higher than they are already. Just to kind of give you a little bit of perspective how many packages have been opened just for the Mirage collection. We're going to be looking at there's 101 op souvenir desert hydras that have been unboxed. Now that's a really good start but it's not where we're going to finish. But just for argument's sake here, we're going to play this one out. So 101 op desert hydras in souvenir. Now, if we multiply that by the average odds of getting one, which is 1 in 3,906, you're going to be looking at just under 400,000 packages unboxed. Now, that's looking at roughly $1.2 million on this souvenir package alone being brought into Valve. But we're going to go a little bit deeper than that. We're going to look at the pinks because the pinks are much better representation of how many are actually being opened. The reds can be a little skewed one way or another. It might look like we've opened up 400,000 when we've only opened up like 350 or if we've opened up like 450. So if we head on over to our pinks, we've got 318 Oxide Oasises. This plus the Fox Deagle We've got 263 of those. That's going to add up to 581. We got to multiply that by the average odds of getting one of these pinks, which is 1 in 781. Multiply those together, and we're looking at 453,761 packages unboxed. Now, I could go on and on and do this for all four of the brand new collections. The point is that we're seeing the Mirage just blowing everything away with the amount of unboxings and case openings that are being done with this package. What this means is that there are going to be the most souvenir desert hydras out of any of the covert skins out there. And that could be good, it could be bad. It's obviously got the most demand out of any of them if we're already seeing tons of these being unboxed. The problem is that is probably going to lead to the most people investing into this souvenir package, which is not a good thing because as we've seen with RMR, the more people investing in, the less profit there is to go around. When we go ahead and compare that to something like the Vertigo Collection and the M4A1S Imminent Danger that I almost had and I'm still very upset about, there's only 13 of those available, meaning that most likely if people are looking to purchase this package, it's probably going to be a very small amount. So there's not going to be a ton of people purchasing this package if they're wanting this package they're going to go after it specifically for the things inside. They're not purchasing it just because it's one of the popular ones to open. This, like the opposite of what we're seeing with the Mirage Collection, could lead to some very insane profits if you're one of the few people that invests in and there's not too many other people around you that are doing the same. This can be very beneficial and is one of the biggest things to look for in CSGO investing. Something that does have a decent amount of demand but very little people are actually investing into it. These are the things that usually skyrocket in price very quickly once other people see the current price has gone up and try to invest into it then, and that's usually the best time to sell. It's why we see all these peaks and collapses where people are investing in for FOMO once a decently popular item starts to pick up traction and people are looking to invest into it then, but it's usually too late. Another side of the spectrum we really haven't looked at is the three returning maps with souvenir packages. Now, these ones can be very profitable as well, but it's going to be for a little bit of a different reason. The skins inside of these usually won't be as expensive as the brand new collections we're seeing now, especially since none of them contain a covert. But the reason these can be very profitable is if the map 
gets pulled from the active rotation. That's mainly what you're going to want to look for if you're looking to potentially invest into some of these other collections. Now, I'm not too big into the mapping game, but one possible outcome could be Overpass gets a rework. Now, this isn't for anything specific, but we've got the 2018 Inferno and Nuke collection, three brand new 2021 maps, and we just got Ancient. Those four for sure will not be getting a rework. The 2018 Inferno and Nuke I feel like aren't going to get a rework as well. So in my opinion it could be very possible that we see Overpass removed and we see a Cobblestone, a new Cobblestone collection or a new Cash collection or anything like that. What gets put in isn't very important, it's what gets taken out. We saw it with the Vertigo collection here, that there was very few of these packages out there, and once that was taken away, we knew we weren't getting more of those, the price started to go up very quickly. Now there definitely are other examples, I'm just using Vertigo because it's one of the more recent ones people will know, and not because it just happened at one major. That's not something super specific that's making the price go crazy, it's what making it go crazy super quickly, but it's just kind of extreme what we're seeing where if it was just pulled we would definitely see the price increase as well. So what am I mainly getting at here? Well the main justification I'm trying to get at is that usually the best investments are the things that aren't bought generally as investments. We saw RMR bought by the masses for investments and we're seeing how that's turning out for the people who aren't playing the long game. Now I think if you buy any of these packages and wait it out, you're definitely going to be in the profit. However, if you're not wanting to wait it out, there are still some options for you. Now these options are going to be very limited and very high risk compared to waiting it out. You're going to have to try and get something that's pulled from the map pool very quickly because that's how you're going to be making your profit if you're not looking to play the long game. However, in my opinion, any of these that you buy if you just hold on to them long enough, you're going to be sitting in a very good position. I think the Mirage is obviously going to be the most invested into, and it's going to have the most demand to be opened after the Major. It all depends on next Major, what maps are there, how many people are looking to invest next Major, and what the prices are looking at for these souvenir packages at the next major. Overall, looking at the Stockholm major, I think there's tons of profit opportunities out there. It all depends on what you are looking for yourself. If you're looking for something that's a little bit more low risk and will most likely lead to a bit of a lower reward, or if you're looking for something high risk, but it might not pan out and you might just be walking away even. But as always guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I know I'm personally going to be picking up some packages and I tried to keep my opinion out of this one as much as possible. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.